Today we learned about the solid creating the solid model. For this, first we have to create section on our drill hole database. For creating a section on our drill hole database, we have to know the extension of our drill hole database. Means the minimum maximum value of the northing and easting and elevation. First we have to display our drill hole. How to display our drill hole? We have already learned in our previous videos. So now we have display our drill hole and for getting the minimum and maximum value of northing sting, first we go to the database report database extend. This report will generate and here we get the minimum maximum of northing sting and elevation. So how to create a cross section? I refer my previous video how to create a cross section on drill hole database. You will found you will find uh, this video in my channel. So please go and uh, watch for detail how to create a cross section. This is here I can uh, in brief I can uh, give you a brief of the uh, creating a cross section. For that you have to go to the cube plane. <coughs> this is uh, option at right side of the our window and uh, this window is also available in top ribbon plane which is in top ribbon from there you uh, we can also get that this is uh, this command for creating a cross section from plane and quick plane this is the command here we will found the uh, get this dialog box and uh, uh, we can uh, see that this dialog box is uh, required the orientation orientation we have given the north thing this is depend on our strike direction. If our uh, strike direction, we will found that uh, st uh, our strike extending in northing. So we will choose the orientation of northing. And if our uh, strike direction is uh, extending in uh, direction of sting, we will choose here orientation as a sting. The second uh, information it is uh, required the start point and end point. The start point and end point it, it is that which we get from the extent of database the minimum northing will be the start point and the maximum northing will be the end point and in the interval column we will give the interval as per our grid pattern here we are giving the 50 meter and after ok we here we can see it right side our cross section is prepared and in jet in plane we can see our dealer database in cross sectional view this is the, our first section from the southern side now for creating a solid model we will find the inter button in our data drill hole and for digitizing this inter button first we create a new layer create a new layer and give a name that layer as a inter button in that layer the all information will be preserved or saved so first we create a new layer new and give the name the new layer enter button this is a new layer for choosing the string number we go to the legend and choose the string number green that is the 5 so we will choose the string number 5 for digitize go to the create digitize digitize new point if our body having some angle from the vertical we will go to the drafting mode right click and draft here we can give the angle from the vertical axis which can be the 50 degree or 70 degree angle after fix the angle position we will digitize our body by click to the next to next point this is how we can create and digitize our inter button the uh, length of inter button will be the your own decision it will be depend on the influence distance between the two bore holes 
This is how can we can give the width by editing the point. Adjust our adjust the width of the inner button body by the taking drafting. We can measure the distance between these two lines and we can manage the distance as 4 meter in whole inter button body by this command managing the distance by the command using the drafting. Here we can see the width of the inner button is more than 4 meter to 5 meter. So we will undo the our digitization and again digitize our body, inner button body. By choosing the drafting command, we will decide the width of the inner button body and go to go through this. At the end point, we will close the body and this is how we will get our inter button body and uh, we will go to all the borehole and getting this ore body by this command where the inter button is exist. If our deposit are horizontal without any angle, we can uh, move this inter button angular body into the horizontal body. For that we can go to the edit and rotate and give an angle of the rotation. Click on the pivot point. Here the dialog box will be the open for the rotation angle. We will give a rotation angle. Here we can now we are giving an angle of 10 degree. Some angle more required. So again we will give the 10 degree more rotate. It is like why is the perfect now. So we will move our body on the inter button like this. This is how we can get the horizontal body and this can be do by the digitizing horizontally without any angle previously which we given the angle 
if we will uh, uh, not giving any uh, angle we can also digitize our body as a horizontal this is how we can create the interpretant body by go to the all drill hole and now we can see we have created all the interpretant on our drill hole now this is the interpretant body interpretant waste body which we have created on all the drill hole this is lying between our complete or body now we will create a solid model of this interpretant body for this we have the command solid and triangulate actually for creating a solid we we, we have to create a triangulate triangulation is the is the process for creating a solid body so we will create a sing as a sing we will close this interpretant body in a single single uh, or single interpretant body for this we will go to the triangulate extrude and triangulate a segment this is the process to close a single single body this dialog box will be open in this dialog box the object id will uh, we will take as a 2 this is the by default and the option the forward and backward movement we will choose the forward and backward both the side and the value and click on the shrink to a vanishing point and distance to incorporation plane we will give as as the uh, as per our interval between the two section if the interval is 100 meter we will choose the 50 meter and apply this is how we will get our solid model solid body of the interpretant eight particular influence width if we want to close any small small segment without any shrinkage we will go to the same option and choose the first option x y offsets in copy segment by we will choose the x y offsets this is how now we will learn to connect two segment to the one segment or one segment to the two segment means connecting the multiple segment so we will go to the solid triangulate one segment to many segment the dialog box is asking for the object number and the children number is also to apply on the bottom side we can see it will it is asking that first break point and second break point on parent segment for join the first child so we will click and choose the first break point and now it is asking second break point for second break point for join the first child so we will choose the second break point on the parent segment now it is asking at bottom the portion to connect the first child so we will and now it is asking the parent child segment is a segment or a point so we will choose the segment it is by default it is on the yes on the segment if it is point we will change the point now it is asking the second child is a segment or a or a point so it is a segment and apply it will be the bifurcate our parent segment in with 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 the two child 
for close the child segment we will go to the extrude and here we will choose the forward triangulate triangulate start segment will be check check in and apply and click on the end point of the first child same command will be applied by the clicking on the second child for close the parent segment we again go to the extrude same command the dialog box will be open like this here we have to choose the distance to incorporate plane the last option will be the minus 50 because it is the backward direction for this parent segment so we will choose the minus 50 and apply and click on it the parent segment like this so this is the bifurcation of the segment but our uh, all the segment are in open not not uh, not close at the end for close the our segment at the end point we will go to the triangulate solid triangulate we will go to the solid triangulate segment to the point like this and click at the end point for closing this end point we will go to the triangulate segment to the point and click at the point it will be the close at the end how this we will close all the all the end point triangulate segment to the point this is how this is how we will close our segment segment to the point and close the segment it is already closed actually before we uh, sink this solid this is small this is the open segment so we will go to the segment close to the segment to the point solid triangulate segment to the point and click at the end of the segment this is how we can we create a solid body of our return inter button in a or body first we have to complete the inter button solid body after this we will go for the completing the whole or body so please uh, go through this video and uh, learn about this creating a solid body thank you goodbye